Hello and welcome to this walkthrough for this Houdini scene file where uh, a couple of zombies walking using kind of fix for the animation and here the new MBM solver simulating the smoke all set it up in Houdini and render in Solaris Karma XPU so this is the outcome and it is uh, available on my bathroom page so you can find the file on my bathroom page for the VFX where you can join you have the file and the hip file besides that uh, a lot of uh, another example another sorry for the noise another demonstration another hip files more than like 300 plus uh, files example vex all of it there so let's go and uh, go through the hip file of the scene so this is the hip file in the geometry we have uh, the kind of fix area here we have the character I downloaded it from Mixiamo this is the character and uh, it's not moving just character in board so this is the FPX uh, animation in board we need a joint deform this node so it will make the animation but uh, before that what I did I applied the textures here and uh, I took the material uh, name from the FPX file added to the name so it make easy for me to create the materials I created name from a group and the group mask I put uh, a star so it's taking everything so this is the preparation and for the for the FBX <laughs> animation this is the animation uh, I split it in two because they are two characters and I transform them little bit up and I added time shift for the second one so dollar f plus uh, a couple of frames then I added a rig pose this rig pose just to modify the hand. as you can see so it's a little bit different then I made the two characters together so there is some variance so this is without with and make them walk same thing I apply it for uh, the character in behind and merge them all together so they become like total of four with a slight difference and shifting in the animation okay. so after that I prepared the, the Vellum solver because what I wanted to do is to animate the robes for these characters using Vellum cloth. So let's start from here. I split the robes as you can see, and then I group them, I call them cloth as a, a point attribute. I added a vellum cloth as you can see but uh, bending I make it a little bit uh, very 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 uh, small here I added a time shift for the start frame so it's not moving I clipped the sleeves so I can add a bin for it so the top is bent then I transfer the groups the top bin so now they are moving but they are uh, being uh, they will be added to the bin group then I add an attach the attachment is uh, to the geometry which is the bodies these are the body so they will not fall down that easy give them a little bit different color 
So this is the attachment. After that, I run through the Vellum solver. And in the Vellum solver, um, I increase the sub-steps, uh, collision ground, some forces, and built-in wind. And uh, that's it. Then I added a Vellum boss process with the loop. So it is a little bit smooth. So this is the Vellum part. Down. I added a curve. This curve will define the area where the snow will be built. I convert it to a polygon, then add some division. And uh, through point VAP, adding some noise and creating density as you can see then uh, defining uh, through the uh, position the y axis I change the position also with the same noise I scatter points at the top and I scatter points at the bottom so this is the arrangement Then I wanted to remove the intersection with the zombie's leg, so I imported the zombie, but I clipped the upper part. I time shift at the first frame and add a bully fill so it's filled. And then I created a group where the intersection with the bones will be, like this one here, and I blast it off. So we have. Uh, empty space here then I added VDB from particle and uh, smoothing it a little bit up and at the end I added uh, around it so I push all of the points below zero to go up so this is the shape of the snow then I added it to the MBM source and the MBM source I choose snow chunky uh, I keep the default setting it was okay this is the collider I make it as animated deforming and this is the container which is connected for both and then I run the MBM solver with the default setting of course here at the top I have the scene as you can see from Sketchfab, I did the same, applied the material. Then, with a couple of transforming and mirroring, we have the prison or a space prison or something, a space station. Then, I took all of the uh, outputs. And I went to the stage Solaris where I imported the, uh, all of the geometry and I applied the material. For all of it, as you can see. And uh, here I added a sphere, as you can see, this sphere. We go we we'll move with the with the zombie but I make it as a proxy so it's not renderable. I move it and add it as an alt so this will be used for the camera focusing which is all the way down here the auto cam <coughs> so I choose the camera and the geometry so we have some autofocus animation and auto zooming and some secondary motion while it's moving and I added a couple of uh, filters for the camera like some bokeh, distortion, tilting and shifting and played with the shutter all is connected to the karma and using the lens shader also you can use this one if you press it it will come immediately and then we have a couple of lighting 
which are here. You can see these are the lighting. And then I render all of it out using XPU. So th thank you for uh, watching the video and hope to see you in my YouTube and uh, Patreon. Thank you very much.